A hydrosil is a fluid-filled sac that surrounds the tusk. Most commonly it is on one side of the scrotum, however you can have them on both sides. We see them most often in newborns. A lot of people may remember their child uh, son having a large scrotum, but usually those dissipate in about one year of life. However, later in life, as a man ages, hydrocils can develop, and these can be somewhat symptomatic for these men. The cause of the hydrocil is believed to be just some inflammation or some trauma to the uh, testicle itself. When I step on someone's ankle, it will swell. However, when uh, the scrotum gets inflamed, it will swell, and in some men, that swelling does not go away, and it stays there. The pain doesn't persist, but the swelling does. And why it doesn't go away, we don't really know. Most hydrocils are asymptomatic, other than noticing a difference in size in the scrotum. Most men present wondering if they have testicular cancer, because one side of the scrotum is bigger than the other. Fortunately, in most cases, they do not have cancer, it's a simple fluid in the scrotum. These uh, can get quite large, they can get as big as a softball or even bigger. And when they get that size, they are quite symptomatic, just the sheer, sheer mass of the uh, scrotum as well as the uh, position can become uncomfortable. Most hydrocils are diagnosed with simple uh, physical exam. We can use a flashlight and illuminate the scrotum and then we can see the light transilluminate through the scrotum. Sometimes when they're taught and they, uh, the exam is difficult, we do get an ultrasound to really make sure that one, it's a hydrocil, and most importantly, that the uh, testicle inside the hydrocil sac is normal. Most hydrocils are asymptomatic and don't require any treatment. I tell my men if it doesn't bug them, leave it alone. However, as they get bigger, they can be quite bothersome and that's when intervention is uh, indicated. Sometimes we can act, uh, stick a needle and remove the fluid. Unfortunately, a lot of times that fails. It's simple, but not always effective. The second we've been experimenting is leaving drains, where we actually drain the hydrocil in the uh, office, then leave a drain for several days, which has proven to be somewhat effective, effective in a lot of men. However, ultimately, if all else fails, we move straight to formal surgical excision. This is a standard outpatient operation that takes about an hour. Most guys are able to return to work within a week. However, there is a few days of recovery. A lot of men ask me after they've had a hydrocele and it's been treated, can I get another one? And the answer is yes. The hydrocele develops between certain layers of the uh, scrotum, and there are seven layers approximately. And so a hydrocele could develop in any of these layers, and it can develop on the other side.